I'm Dr. Adam Pendleton at Hand Forge Vet. I'm going to show you how to put a poultice on your horse's foot. The main reason to do this is to soak out a subsolar hoof abscess. There are many different ways to do this, including soaking in a bucket or putting a diaper on. I really prefer not to use diapers. One of the reasons is because most of the diapers that I see come into the clinic are wrapped too tightly around the pastor. That will cut off blood circulation to the rest of the foot. The other reason I like this is because the amount of salt that you can put in a bucket of water does not compare to the amount of salt that you can put in the poultice against the foot. So the supplies that you'll need is a bucket of warm water, a roll of vet wrap, Epsom salts, scissors, pound cotton, and I specifically like Gorilla Tape because it'll last much longer than cheap duct tape. I always like to find the end of my roll of vet wrap before I even pick the horse's foot up. The easiest way to tear pound cotton is to grab a handful, pull one direction and then the other, and that should give you a nice rectangular piece. The two important features when you're using any drawing agent on your horse's foot is contact time and concentration. This process helps us to achieve both of those better than any other process I've seen. Step one is to make sure all of your supplies are out and handy close to the horse. Step two is to take Epsom salts and pour filling the bottom of the hoof, and this can be applied if there's a shoe on or if they're barefoot. Step three is apply pound cotton over the top of the foot. This is where it can get tricky because if the horse moves at this point, they can spill your Epsom salts all over the place. So you should have your, the end of your vet wrap already located before you start wrapping. Wrap the hoof, and I use the whole roll of vet wrap. Then you take your pre-made duct tape mat, line it up with the back of the heels, fold the front over, fold the backs over, make the little bat wings, fold the sides over, but I always do finish up with one or two rounds around the outside of it. And at this point, as long as you don't have any duct tape over the hairline or over the coronary band, you can put the foot down. The next step is to put the foot in a bucket of water. Make sure the water goes up over the coronary band and up to the pastern. The foot should stay in the bucket for approximately three to four minutes. Once the bubbles begin slowing down, you know that the pound cotton has become fully saturated. This is what will keep the foot damp for approximately 12 hours. I tell people, re-soak in 12 hours and change 24 hours. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to www dot handforged that dot com.